Welcome to this episode of Icelandic Formula Offroad. We will look at the second round of the national championship, which took place at Stapafell, May the 24th. The weather was great for this type of event, with rain in the morning, but dry rays. Eight unlimited cars and four road legal cars were ready to tackle the steep hills of Stavafell. This is what the championship standings looked like after the first round, with Elmar Guðmundsson at the top after his win at Hedla. But Elmar isn't competing today, which gives the other drivers a great chance to steal his championship lead. We spoke to Magnus Sigurðsson, who sits in third place before the race. Magnus, third set at Hedla, when are you going to stand for the Kjartan today? Bara vel. Þetta er bara, ef bítinni lægi þá erum við góðum málum. Við þú ert að skoða breytir mörg hvernig líst þér á þær? Þær eru bara flóttar sín þér. Þær eru sumar þarna nánast ókleifar en ég held að það sé hægt að fara í þær alla núna. Snorri er the defending champion. He currently sits in second place. Snorri, manna settið á hellu. Hvernig ertu stemmtur fyrir kjafni í dag? Já, bara þokka leifur held ég. Þetta er ágætis veður og fína breytir. Nú eru aðstofamenn þínir að gera við bílinn hérna fyrir aftan. Hvað er að? Það er ónýtt bensíndæla en hún er að koma úr reykjafi, þannig að þetta ætti að reddast. Þannig að þetta ætti að vera kraftur í kjöfnuna? Já, vonum það. This is Guðbjörn Grímsson, hverfin Katla Turbotró, in the first race at Hedla. Like Elmar, he isn't competing in this race. Sjáið hann, sjáið hann! But he lent his 1600 horsepower machine to this man, Sigurður Þór Jónsson. Sigurður is a former national champion and has been competing in Formula Offroad since the early 90s. We asked him about his expectations before the race. Sigurður Þór Jónsson, kunnulegt andlit í tófærinu en hann er nú komið svolítið landsíðan og kjafti síðast. Já, það er nú svolítið nafnir dagar síðan, 2009. Myndur við stefna á Sigur í dag, er þetta aðlega þér til skemmtunar? Þeir eru aðlega til skemmtunar en við stefnum alltaf á Sigur og fyrir því þú sem að leika okkur. And here is Sigurður in the first course of the day. The final hill is very steep and has little grip. But Sigurður makes it all the way due to the immense power in the Top Patrol. Next up is Thor Thormar Paulsson in Spider-Man. He had some engine problems in the first race at Hetla. Spider-Man makes it all the way, but Thor touches a marker in the final gate and gets 10 penalty points. Svanur Thomasson, driving his car insane, is currently sitting fifth in the championship, so he will be hoping for a good result here. But he lets his foot off the throttle in the middle of the hill and only gets 240 points. Here we have Valdemar Jón Svensson in Crash Hard. He, like Thor Tharmar, had engine problems in the first event, so he's using his spare engine today. This engine doesn't seem to be very good, and Valdemar gets stuck right at the beginning of the final climb. He tries again, but the reverse gives him 40 penalty points, and he only gets a total of 170. Hi, Valdemar, how are you going? Þetta er gengið ágætlega, sko, ég er með nýja vél sem er minni en hinn Þannig að konvekturinn sem er sem stikka milli skiptingar á vélar er ekki að réttri gerð, þannig að ég næ ekkert fáur út úr hann, þannig að ég er búin að mjög fáur lítið til dag Aron Ingi Svansson in the Zombie is the only driver in the modified class so he doesn't have as good tires as the unlimited cars Despite his best efforts, Aron can't make it all the way and has to settle for 220 points from this first course but a total of seven courses are in this race today, so there is a long way to go. Magnus Sigurdsson in his cube is currently third in the championship and is hoping to challenge for the lead in this race. His car the cube has four cylinder, 2.4 litre Honda engine, so it isn't as powerful as the other V8 cars. But the car is lightweight, therefore Magnus makes it all the way and touches no markers. Last to tackle this course is Snorri Thor in the choir boy. As we mentioned earlier, he has a great chance to build up a good lead in the championship, but he needs a good result today. Snorri makes it look easy and gets full 350 points. 
This is what the standings look like after the first course. Three drivers are tied for the first place and Thorthalmar is only 10 points behind. But there is a long way to go and now we move on to the second course. This turned out to be the most challenging course for the drivers, but Silver the Thor makes it look easy up the first hill. Then the drivers had to turn 180 degrees to go back down. Sigurdu does this well and is currently without any penalty points. And now for the difficult final climb. Nope, not enough speed. And Sigurd only gets 240 points. Next up, Svanur Thomason in Insane. Svanur had 240 points before this track, so if he goes all the way to the top, he could equal Sigurd's lead. That is one of the most spectacular rolls ever in Formula Off-Road. Kind of explains the name of the car. Insane. Well, you have to say Swanner gave it his best. But that impact on the rear axle was too much and Swanner had to retire after this second course. Here is Valdemar Svensson in Pass Hard. Let's see if the car lives up to its name. Valdemar desperately needs good points here if he has to have any chance of winning the race. So let's see what he can do. Yes! Great driving from Valdemar. 330 points and only 90 points behind the leader, Sigurd Thor. Next in this challenging course is Aron Inge in the Zombie. Now, that's great driving. Aron copied Valdemar's performance and despite damaged rim, he managed to crawl his way through the last gate. Here we have Haukur Einarsson driving Taz. Haukur missed the first course due to engine problems and was keen to make up for it in the second. That's not good enough. So Hugger only gets 200 points. Next in this course is Magnus Seus. He got 350 points in the first course, like Sigurdur and Snorri. So if he goes all the way, he could take the lead, since Sigurdur only got 240 points for his effort. Magnus drives the course well, and is currently without any penalty points. No! Not enough speed, and when he lands, something breaks in the drivetrain. He only gets 240 points, and had to retire in the next course. Magnus, þetta var nú ekki þinn dagur? Nei, þetta gekk mjög vel og uh, já, ég bara gaf þú aðeins og snemmi í lendingunni, held ég. Ég þarf að skoða þetta þegar ég sér í sjóvarsinu. Uh, þetta, það fór eiginlega allt útskeið þarna í, í braut númer 2. Hva, hvað gerðist nákvæmlega þar í, í lendingunni? Uh, ég braut uh, öksur út um millingarsa, uh, dragleður að framan og öksull. 
Þannig að það er í rauninni bara öll drifur á spilsinn sem, sem að brotnaði einhverju leiti Já, það, það skiði ekki neitt allan að þú veist Það var algjörlega bara, það var eins og verið hlutlutur 350 points before this course Snorri Þór Árnason needs to score more than 240 points to take the lead Snorri drives like the champion that he is and avoids all the markers Now for the final climb. Snorri tried to emulate Valdemar and Aaron, but didn't find the right way up. Just like Sigurdur and Magnus, he gets 240 points. Fireboy is well built and didn't sustain any damage in that role. Last in this very challenging second course is Thor Thormar in Spider-Man. He was only 10 points behind the leaders before the course, so let's see if he goes for the lead. No, nope, he hesitated there, but gets 220 points without penalties. The leaderboard doesn't change much, with Sigurdur and Snorri battling for the lead. But Aaron Ingi jumps up to the fourth and Thor isn't far behind. Stay tuned for more Formula Off-Road. We are back and now we are going to see how the road legal cars got on. Here we have last year's champion and winner of the first event in Hedla, Ivar Guðmundsson in his car, The Devil. This is the first course for the road legal cars. But as you can see, they don't drive the same courses as the unlimited ones. This is Haukur Birgisson, and he, like the others in this class, drives an old village jeep that he calls Þeytingur. Haukur was fourth in his first go at Formula Offroad in Hedla, and didn't improve here, and took last place. Stengrumur Bjarnason is the most experienced driver in this class. Despite that, he came second in the first race. It was more bad news for Steinkrimmer at Stapafell since he only managed third place. Steinkrimmer's third place was mainly due to the great driving shown by Elvald Ori Guðmundsson in the battle. Elvald was the only driver who got to the top of this last course and managed to beat Steinkrimmer by only 44 points. As for the winner, well, it was never any doubt. Ivar Gumerson is simply in a different league and thrust the opposition, winning the race 145 points ahead of second place. Now, back to the unlimited cars. The third and fourth courses are time courses, where two cars start at once. Closer to us in the third course is Valdemar Jón Sveinsson, whereas Aaron Ingi in the Zombie is driving the fourth. After this first run, the drivers change tracks and everyone drives both courses. Aaron Ingi sets a time of 1 minute 7 seconds in his course, but Valdemar drove course number 3 in 34.6 seconds, which turned out to be the third best time, giving him 339 points. Next up are Snorri Thor and Haukur. Snorri is hoping to beat Valdemar's time of 34.6 seconds in the battle for first place. He does so and sets the fastest time of the day, resulting in 350 points. But Haukur Einarsson broke his front dip. Although he did manage to finish the course, he had to retire since the damage was too much. Bye bye. Sigurður Thor Jónsson had to start course number 4 alone, since Magnus in the cube had retired. Uh -huh. 
Sigurður set the second fastest time in the third course, so if he could back that up with another fast time here, he would surely hang on to the lead. But when Sigurður turns back down, he goes the wrong way, resulting in only 50 points. Sigurður, fjóra breyti búnar, hvernig verður þetta gengið í dag? Þetta hefur gengið svona ágætlega, ég var eitthvað þar í fyrsta öðru eftir fyrstu breyti og svo einhvern veginn var ég nánast í endaleið í öðru breyti, ég var fyrstur í hana. Það er þetta fáu bílunum sem fór nánast í endaleið og einhvern veginn dóa bílunum, þannig að ég leitað að renna bara niður. Svo fekk ég ekki að fara upp aftur, það átti um að rauða fáni á mig og ég var ekkert góðan út úr brötinni. Það ætla að fara upp aftur. Og síðan var ég með vestatíman í fyrri tíman brötinni og svo óvart geri ég út úr seti tíman brötinni. Ég sá svo illa þegar ég kem hann fyrir hóttinni, ég beið og snemma og gerði óvast út úr henni. Við sýndist það var ekki viss og svo sá ég okkur rauðu fána með þannig að ég kláraði hann ekki. Next stop is Thor Thormann. Here, right at the beginning, the front axle completely broke in half, resulting in yet another retirement. The axle probably cracked in the second course, and then completely gave way in the time course. Já, Snorri, fjóra breyti búnar, hvernig hefur þetta gengið? Þetta hefur gengið þokkalega, ein velta þarna og annars bara gott held ég. Eitthvað skemmtur á bílnum í þessar veltu? Nei, þetta er það sama bara bóttið og eitthvað svona fjátur. Núna er fynta og sjötta breytum framundan, er þetta fært? Það er allt fært sko, en það er bara spurning hversu menn eru, hversu mikið hugur í þeim sko. Er hugur í þér? Er það ekki alltaf? Gangið þér vel. Takk. Hann Snorri in the choir boy will be the first to tackle the fifth course. That wasn't much of a challenge, and Snorri drives away with 350 points. It's the same story for Sigurður Thor Jónsson. He goes all the way without any effort at all. Next is Valdemar Jónsvensson. He makes mistake in the beginning, and has to reverse, and loses 40 points for that. He makes it all the way, despite his engine issues. At this point, only four cars were left in the field, mainly because of that dramatic second course. Aron Inge Svansson was one of the survivors, and he gets 350 points for this easy fifth course. So now, the scoreboard looks like this, with only two courses left. Snorri leads, Valdemar second, and Sigurd Thor is down to third because of that mistake in the time course. Course number six looked a lot more difficult than the fifth, but again Snorri makes it look easy, but touches his mark in the final gate, losing 10 points. Now, because Snorri got 340 points, Sigurd has no chance of a victory, but he finishes this second to last course with 340 points as well. Aron Inge had some mechanical problems before this track and couldn't resolve them in time. So Valdemar was the third and final car to go all the way in this course. Aron Inge did manage to start this final course, but as we can see, the transmission gave way and Aron finished the day in fourth with 1353 points. Now, let's see if Sigurd Thor Jónsson can make it all the way and possibly snap the second place from Valdemar. No, he ends the day in third with 1868 points. Valdemar Jón had no chance of catching Snorri Thor in this final course, so he didn't have to try to go all the way. Valdemar was happy with second, although he wants to win next time. Snorri Thor Arnarsson in the choir boy showed us why he is the defending champion. 
with some great and controlled driving, led from start to finish and ended the day with 2180 points. Snorri, fyrsta sæti eftir daginn, þú lítur að vera sáttum við það? Já, þetta var flottu dagur en þetta byrjaði ekki vel en það endaði vel. Nú ert þú komin í fyrsta sæti Íslandsmóndið og stefnir á að vera þinn til dilvandana? Já, maður gerir það alltaf en það er fyrsta flottu köpum hérna þannig að það er ekkert öruggt í þessu. Gangið vel næst í kefni? Takkað fyrir. We'll be back with the next round of Icelandic Formula Offroad in the beginning of July. Make sure not to miss it here on Motors TV.